Hi, how you doing? Vince with Complete Home Remodeling. Let's give you another quick short video. What you're going to learn in this video is how to fireproof your wall prior to inspection by the CO in order to meet code upon electrical rough-in completion. And here's what we have. Two products. First product is produced and designed and manufactured by 3M. It's Fire Barrier Sealant. CP25WB uh, plus four hour. Okay, this is red. There are two different fire blocks that you can use for the holes. And real simple, I'll show you. Any hole that creates an updraft and has access for this wall cavity to catch on fire and draft up into the attic immediately without a retardation needs to be blocked. Now you're probably also looking at this, okay? That also needs to be blocked. But we don't have to use this product as this is really expensive, this. This is 12 bucks a tube. Okay, you'll get probably a wall worth out of it. So what I wanted to show you is the areas to be concerned, the cavity itself it is in of itself. So anything that drafts, any holes that the electrician made, he didn't run a wire here, but he still made a hole. Any hole into the plating going down has to be filled, fire block, and the CO will look for red. They do make a yellow, they prefer the red. Okay, sometimes your electrician will do this for you, but usually not. So we have an inspection scheduled tomorrow, and the reason we want to get this done is we want to pass our electrical rough in and our frame. So we can insulate, and then when that's approved, then we can turn around and start running our drywall. So anything that's an avoided opening, and you could see, see a crack there, you might want to shoot some into that crack. But along this edge here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pack this with another product. Okay, so that'll give me a full seal. And I'm going to show you that product as well. So let's take another look at the fire block. And the way I do it is if the wire's got a little bit of looseness to it, I try to wrap the entire wire in the coating. And this way there's no potential for any fail or any bullshit from your CO. And you can see this one here, I'll show you. This has already started, I ran out with the last tube. So we're just gonna shoot that up in there. And you know what, just let it ooze out, get it all around the wire. Be generous with it, don't be cheap. And they'll look at it and go on. Okay, so we're gonna go over to the next wire here. We got another one here that's going to that's a creating an updraft there it's an opening you want to try to get it around both sides if you can and the same thing up in here if you're able to wrap both that's fine if not you can just encase the whole thing and he'll be happy with that but we ultimately we want to pass our inspection okay so those are some key important things where they look for is see the void in the white wire next to it you want to make sure it's filled because he will fail it for that. Just stick your nozzle back in there and give it a shot. It doesn't have to be pretty, but it does have to be filled. And that's what we're trying to do here. Okay, so that completes the wiring on the up and low down going towards the basement. Now, when you get into the basement, if there's wiring that was done elsewhere, you're gonna to have to make sure that's filled as well. Here's the next part. You see here, we have a couple different things here. We have a hollow block construction, which means that the hollow block allows for drift up through the cavities, every eight inch, right up to the decking. So he will not approve this with these voids. This was an old outlet. This was a new outlet. Those have to be packed. Now, what do you pack them with? Easy solution. You can see here as well, that has to be packed. You got a void outlet that also needs packing. And then like I mentioned before in a video, this needs to be packed out and this line, because guess what? Fire can draft right up through there. And what's the point in this if you have a draft line right behind it? So that needs to be packed out in full, okay? So one of the easiest ways to do it, if you don't want to spend buku bucks on the sealant, and I don't blame you, is to buy what's called rock wool. 
Now this is R15. We don't really care because I'm tearing it apart. I'm not insulating the entire wall with it. And what this product does, if you'll read here, it's fire resistant. This can be handled. It's not like fiberglass, it's wool. It is fire resistant. It's made for a cavity of two by four, which again, like I said, we're not lining the wall with this for insulation. We're just using this to meet fire code. Okay, and I want to show you how that's going to be applied. You're just going to tear off some sections here. Real easy. Bring it over here. You've got your void, and what you want to do is you want to stuff that void. And you want to pack that void so in the event of a fire, it won't draft and suck up through the block. So do you have to pack a lot in there? Yeah, you do. But guess what? We've got a gigantic container of it. And we're going to have more than enough. You just tear away what's not going to be used. Sorry about the motion on the camera. Okay, now guess what? That hole is now filled. It's fireproofed. There's no way fire is getting in there. So you want to do that to every void in your block. The big one, all the small ones, anything that's an old cavity for an old outlet such as this one, you just want to start packing it and packing it and packing it till you can't get anything more into it. And then one other issue is right here where we have a stump frame or a front frame which ends right here. We're going to also pack this line all the way down with the rock wool this way there's no draft here this is something that we touched on the other side is finished slat wall untouched we can't do anything about that but what's new has to meet fire code okay so basically that's about it if you want to meet your fire code after your inspection lateral lines don't count okay that's in the wall cavity itself the idea of this is to prevent a fire below from wicking up through the holes immediately Four hours is more than what the wood would last. Okay, and then the same thing. If there's a wall cavity fire here, unbeknownst, you know, you got switches, electrical, that will slow it down, giving people enough time to get the hell out of the house. And again, the line here also needs to be packed out. And you could do that a couple ways. You could pack it from the top. Better yet, you could pack it from the bottom, but it still has to be filled completely. Okay, so I hope you liked the video. Please subscribe if you want to get alerts. Jingle the bell. And uh, I hope your project works smoothly for you. And I hope that you received some good information out of here. Thanks very much for watching. Bye now.